Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign-on for your ASP.NET web applications. Let's get started. This is the demo ASP.NET web app that I will be using for SSO setup. Let's install the ASP.NET SAML module. Go to browser and search for ASP.NET SSO. Click on the Mini Orange ASP.NET SAML SSO connector page link. Scroll down the page and go to ASP.NET Applications section. Select the type for your application and download the solution for your application. If you are not sure about your application type, you can contact us at ASP.NET support at Securify.com. For the setting up the module, extract the ASP.NET SAML module zip and open it. Add Mini Orange SAML SSO DLL file into your bin folder, where other DLL files for your application exist. Register Mini Orange SAML SSO module in your application, according to the steps provided in the file named integration.md. Add the provided configuration file saml.config in the root directory of your application. Open your browser, and browse the connector dashboard with the URL showing on the screen. If the registration page or login page pops up, you have successfully added the Mini Orange SAML SSO connector to your application. Register or log in with your account by clicking the Register or Login button to configure the module. After login, you will see the Identity Provider list, under the Plugin Settings section. This module is compatible with all the IDPs showing on the screen, and all other SAML compliant IDPs. If your IDP name is not on the default list, you can configure your IDP using the Custom IDP option. Search your application name in the search bar, and click on it. Here, you can see the Change IDP button. By clicking on the button you can change your IDP. For ASP.NET SAML configuration, you will need IDP metadata, which can be found from your application admin dashboard. I am using Mini Orange as my IDP here, so I will log in using my Mini Orange credentials. After logged in, click on Apps tab. Click on Add Application button. Search Application Type as Samal, and click on Create App button. Search for Custom Samal App and click on it. Here, you will need an SP Entity ID and the ACS URL which you will get from the ASP.NET SAML module. Go to the SAML module. At the right side of the screen, you will find the Service Provider Metadata. You can have three options to provide the metadata to your IDP. Here we are using Download Metadata File option to provide metadata. Download the metadata file by clicking on Download link. Now, go to your SAML application. Click on Import SP Metadata button. Enter name for your application. Click on File option. Click on Choose File option. Select the metadata file which we have downloaded from SAML module. Click on Import button. Click on Save to save your details. The app is configured successfully. Once your identity provider is configured, the metadata from your identity provider must be sent to the service provider. For the IDP metadata, go to your SAML application and click on Select and then Metadata option. Under Mini Orange's IDP section, click on Show Metadata Details button. Click on Download Metadata button to download the IDP metadata. Go to SAML module and click on Upload IDP metadata. Click on Choose File button. Now, select the IDP metadata file which we have downloaded from Mini Orange. Click on Upload button. As you can see all the details are autofilled. Scroll down and click on Save button. After that click on Test Configuration button to test the configuration. Log in with your Mini Orange credentials. On Successful Configuration, you will get the user attributes. Now, you can click on Click Here link or you can also Click on Continue SSO Integration button to further continue with the SSO integration. It will redirect you to the Integration Code section. Just copy-paste the code snippet, wherever you want to access the user attributes. I have pasted the code snippet here. Now, we will perform the SSO. For that, add the URL which is showing on the screen, as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. As an example, I have used the SSO link as a button in my code. Let's see how it works. Go to your application URL and you will be able to see the SSO link button, which we have added for SSO. Click on the SSO button. Log in with your application credentials here. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at